Hi, right, what up, YouTube? I'm here with another video. Um, I know I made plenty of videos on these Cat 4s, but um, I was here chilling at the crib by myself, um, and I got a couple kid sizes in these calves, right? And um, I was just looking at these, these kid sizes, and I was just looking at the differences between the kids and the men's. And um, I, I never came across videos explaining the differences from kids to men, so I was like, um, why not just make a video explaining um, the differences between kid sizes um, and men sizes and their price range, their price different price ranges. So here I have a size 11 in men. I have a seven in kids, uh, six and a half in kids, and a five and a half in kids. Um, I have a six, but I just didn't put it in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's no need for that. But um, um, let's see that. I'm gonna show you guys. All right, first of all, price range for men's, this men's right here is 160. This is a size 11, 160. Um, this is a size seven. Price range on this is 110 retail. So. First difference I saw the obvious the obvious difference the midsole the midsole is basically all black the upper midsole right here all black on the men's side on the men basically um right here this right here was um supposedly as far as I know was made for stability stability on the foot. Um, kid size don't have that. Um, I don't know. It's because of the design on the size. Maybe it's because um, something they don't need it for the kids. But whatever. Um, one thing I did notice: the tongue on the men's and and on the kids this is the same. The same tongue, just the the Jordan stamp on it is it's wider. You see how it's like. It's wider. The width of it is wider than the men's. The men's is just lo is longer. The tongue is more narrow, but the tag on here is, is just wider. Uh, these these this, this right here, the, the waffle strap and shit. Um, this is like a a relief. Uh, as le leather. This right here is leather on the kid size. This right here, this yellow piece right here. And the uh, the orange waffle strap, basically part right here, is plastic. I mean rubber, like a hard rubber. On the men, is this the the blue part right here is a hard rubber piece. As well, this this right here is like a, a soft plastic piece, and this is a hard plastic piece with a with leather, and right here is just a hard plastic. That's another difference. Color wise, same color. The bottoms, same bottoms. Um, material wise, um, the suede is a lot more detailed and more buttery, as I can say. While this is just some, it, it feels like the suede that they put on the replica shoes. Like it has, it's soft. But has no definition on it like on here is just nice and buttery and here is just just smooth um, I think you guys can tell the difference in the video with the light you see the the, the texture difference you see that and on here is just plain black you can see the difference by eye um but everything else is the same same inner sole, black, orange, um, jump man. The back, back is another difference. Um, again, this is a leather piece right here. This right here is a leather piece, my finger is pointing. And, um, all this, all this in blue. Um, the Jordan, the jump man is stitched in. That piece is actually stitched in in the kid size, and this whole back piece is leather. While on the men's size, this is a 
hard plastic piece in the back, the pull, uh, the pull tab right here, and this is stamped in. The Jordan Jumpman is stamped in, pressed in, as I can say, while here is stitched in. Um, but everything else is identical. The Air Jordan upside down, the both the same thing. Black shoelaces, um, orange air bubble in the men's size, orange bubble in the kid size. Um, this is a little bit hidden, and the men's size is more defined, but same shit. But yeah, 